major scandal hits Tsunubu as loyalists expose the selling of appointments. See who is doing the selling. Tsunubu's son in trouble. Oh yeah now. No be small to my people. No be small scandal. Na serious scandal. Better one. <laughs> Story don't tire up on my people. Yes, so no be small to my people. Let's quickly check the content and know what actually uh what actually is happening. Okay? Yes, so this is today's news. Femi Bajabiamila, the chief staff of President Bola Ahmed Tunubu, has been accused of selling appointments to the ISPDAS. The allegation was made by some loyalists to President Tunubu in a report by Daily Post. According to the report, Tunubu's son Shei is also involved in this immoral act. The trend has caused outrage among members of the public who are calling for a thorough public investigation into the matter and demanding the immediate suspension of Mitagbaja Biamila for allegedly profiting from government appointments. Hmm. That's good. Okay. Uh, okay. Recall that last week, President Tunubu appointed the resident electoral commissioner, REC, of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. However, sources have said that since the beginning of President Tunubu's administration, Mr. Bajabia Mila has been replacing some of the names of individuals approved by the president for appointment with his own choices. One of the examples cited is the replacement of the name of Ekiti Rek with the name of a former commissioner under the immediate past governor of Ekiti State, Kayode Fayemi. The sources was quoted by Daily Post. Using Tunubu's son as the tomboy, Nigeria has reacted saying that they both should be arrested. Can you imagine? You see, if you watch it very well, you will see that Tunubu doesn't have time to pay attention to the people he is appointing. In, after making his own appointments, the remaining appointments, he left it for his son and his ministers to do the remaining. And that is where the fraud began to pop in, which is not okay in any way. You will agree with me, my listeners. Um, well, without speaking much, I want to tell us that in, in this administration, we have a lot of low, um, low thinkers and people who are not even fit for one beat to become president in any way. I tell you, people who are not fit at all, you see that, yet they still brought them in. It's not right. All right, my people, when I don't hear the matter as they be, and that is how it is, no doubt. Uh, let's quickly um, hear from you and uh, know what your take is and what your opinion about this may be. It's a pleasure. Don't forget to leave your comments below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.